Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Yash. In this video, I am going to show you a new update launched by Android Studio. Today I have updated my Android Studio to the latest version that is 4.1.1 and I have found some useful feature. So I thought I should share with you. In this feature, we will get the Android emulator within the Android Studio instead of a standalone application. So let me create one new project and let me show you how previously it was running. Uh, let it be my demo. We have created a new project here and let me show you that which version I am using right now. So I will go to help and about. In this you can see Android Studio 4.1.1. I am using currently the latest one. So you also have to verify that you have updated your Android Studio to this version. And if you have not updated to this, just you have to simply go to help. After going to this help, just click on this check for updates. Now let's try to run this default project what we have created just now. So I'll try to run it here. And let's see how emulator works now. So we can see here in the bottom that emulator is launched and here we can see our emulator but the emulator is running as a standalone application that is it is launched differently from Android Studio. But in this new update we can merge this emulator in the Android Studio itself. That means whenever you will try to run your code after making some changes at that time you don't need to switch many times in between your Android Studio and your emulator. So you will save your time just because you do not have to switch simultaneously between them okay so now we will see how to enable that feature which will help us to make our android emulator inside this android studio for that just go to this file option inside this you can find settings here go to the settings in settings you can find tools here inside these tools you can see emulator just click on this you can see launch in a tool window. Also, there's one message here which is very important. Like enabling this setting will cause Android emulator to launch in a tool window. Otherwise, the Android emulator will launch as a standalone application which we have seen earlier. Some AVDs that is Android virtual device will launch as standalone application regardless of this setting due to their hardware profiles that means they're saying that not every emulator will launch in a tool window some of them might launch in a separate standalone application based on their hardware profiles so this emulator extended controls are not available when launched in a tool window okay so let's check this box and apply and click on ok so we have applied our settings now let's check our pixel phone oreo will launch in a separate tool window here itself or not or it will launch in a standalone application like previously let's check it out as you can see one window is automatically popped out here okay so it is connecting to the emulator now and here it is we have got our emulator inside the android studio itself and you can see at the bottom we do not have any option for android emulator separately that is Android Studio have launched here itself. Now I can easily make any changes here in the code and run the application and I do not have to switch between the Android Studio and emulator. So this, so this is very good feature in Android 4.1.1. So I hope you have liked this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this cool update with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.